Lester gets fired by Trump. Democrats hate his replacement for one reason by Dan Lindsay. Politics U.S. News for MadWorldNews.com. National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster just got thrown from the Trump train and Democrats absolutely hate his replacement for one huge reason. Snowflakes aren't going to like this. President Donald Trump announced that National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster will no longer be serving in his administration. The president's Twitter announcement set liberals over the edge. I am pleased to announce that effective uh, April 9th, uh, Ambassador John uh, Bolton uh, will be my new uh, National Security Advisor. I'm very thankful for the service of General H.R. McMaster, who has done an outstanding job and will always remain my friend. There will be an official contact handover on April 9th. There's his tweet. Uh, the departure of, uh, departure of General H.R. McMaster's is welcome news to anyone who supports Trump uh, making America great again agenda. In the past, McMaster has been the cause of significant controversy for his efforts to get rid of anyone who supported the president's nationalistic ideology. Uh-huh. Uh, in one instance, McMaster forbade members of the National Security Council from using the term Obama holdovers to describe individuals who were still serving in the administration, which many viewed as loyal to Barack Obama's corrupt agenda. The primary reason that Democrats hate John Bolton is for his conservative views on foreign policy. Bolton has been outspoken on North Korea and Iran and has in the past expressed the need for the United States to deal harshly with both of the extremist governments. Another reason liberals dislike uh, Bolton is his loyalty to Trump. On Thursday, March 22, 2018, Bolton gave an interview to Fox News during which he bashed those in the White House who have been leaking sensitive and classified information about Trump's private communications. Speaking directly about a memo which was recently leaked by someone in the White House, Bolton slammed the still anonymous guilty party. When I read about the leak uh, of the notes and the subject of the conversation, I was outraged by it, uh, Bolton said. Let's take a listen. Someone. Breaking just moments ago, the news that General H.R. McMaster, who is the second national security advisor for the Trump administration, will be leaving that post in early April. Former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., John Bolton, will be his replacement. Moments ago, President Trump breaking the news, as he often does, about our next guest, sending out this tweet. I am pleased to announce that effective April 9, Ambassador John Bolton will be my new national security advisor. I'm very thankful for the service of General H.R. McMaster, who has done an outstanding job and will always remain my friend. There will be an official contact handover on April the 9th. Here now, former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, John Bolton, former Fox News contributor. Uh, good to have you here this evening, sir. Um, your reaction to your new job? Well, I think I still am a Fox News contributor. Uh, <laughs> no, you're I, I not, didn't, apparently. <laughs> I didn't, uh, well, I haven't started there yet. So uh, uh, that uh, demonstrates, I think, the sort of limbo that, right. uh, that I'm in because I didn't really expect that announcement uh, this, uh, this afternoon. But it's, uh, it's obviously a, uh, a great honor. It's always an honor to serve our country. And uh, I think particularly in these uh, times internationally, uh, it's, a, it's a particular honor. So I'm still sort of... Uh, getting used to it, and I'm sure it'll take a little more getting used to it. So you were at the White House this afternoon, and the president offered you this position then or before then? Well, it's a, it, it came to a conclusion this afternoon, and uh, but as I say, there, there's still a transition. I look forward to working with, uh, with HR and his team and the, the other uh, senior members of the president's team on national security, and uh, I have no doubt there's a lot of work to do, and uh, so I'll be I'll be devoting myself to getting ready to uh, uh, to fill in for HR. But let me ask you this, because one of the stories that was out this week uh, in the Washington Post suggested that the president ignored the advice of someone who was involved in the national security conversation not to congratulate Vladimir Putin when he spoke with him on the phone the other day. Is there any indication that that was the final catalyst that may have provoked this change? 
no i don't i have no idea about any of that i will say when i read about the leak of the notes and the subject of the conversation i was outraged by it i mean it recalled earlier in the administration when somebody was leaking transcripts of the president's conversations with foreign leaders it's it's completely unacceptable you cannot conduct diplomacy you cannot expect other foreign leaders to be candid and and open in their conversations with the president if some munchkin in the executive branch decides they're going to leak the talking points of the transcript or or any any other aspect of it and i think this is uh... really a terrible reflection on the individual or individuals who did this uh... they should be ashamed of themselves yeah but they're not i couldn't agree more with bolton the fact that there are still leaks coming from the white house just proves how disloyal those who are close to the president really are. Bolton, who is a former ambassador to the United Nations, is very likely to become the target of many attacks from the left for both his loyalty to Trump and the hardline position on dealing with rogue countries. In my opinion, Trump made an outstanding decision replacing globalist McMaster, I agree with that, who did not leave the army in order to serve as Trump's national security advisor. Uh, recently, many Americans were shocked to find out that McMaster had been working for a foreign think tank, uh, funded in part China and Russia, and I would say George Soros, for 11 years before joining Trump's administration. It doesn't sit right with a lot of people who see that situation for what it truly is, a conflict of interest on a massive level. According to the Daily Caller, McMaster was slammed by other military officials for his controversial position at the foreign think tank called International Institute for Strategic Studies. In a statement to Daily Caller, retired Rear Admiral James Lyons, who served 35 years in the Navy, said, It is really absurd that an active duty military officer, particularly one of a flag rank, is a consultant to a foreign organization that is taking money and contributions from questionable countries that are known enemies of the United States, this to me seems to be outside the bounds of what we're committed to. This is atrocious. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know. I think there are many like Lions who are happy to see McMaster leave the National Security Council. Bolton is a welcome change to the uh, Trump's administration, which has seen many challenges in the past year due to his disloyal individuals. Uh, absolutely, get McMaster's out. Uh, he should have, even if you didn't have a replacement, McMaster should have been out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.